start her up. All right, so um, so we're here uh, talking about the terahertz wand. Um, I guess also we could call it a terahertz blower, but I call it the terahertz wand. And there's two versions. I'm showing you the red version right now. There's actually, uh, Joy, what color is the other one? Is it black? I think it's silver. Silver, okay. Yeah, the and this, yeah, so the, the red one is more for like home use. The silver one would be more for commercial use if you're going to run it all day. And, um, right, it has, I'm sure, a different, um, velocity and capability of yes. temperature control it's yes. more stable for long term that's exactly right so um joya before we get in and get into this unit what it does and um some of the benefits of it can do you want to just give a quick overview of who you are and kind of your background well i'm actually a nobody i spent about <laughs> five years in the actual medical field uh, with a cnt license medical device retailer license and a pharmacy license i worked in home oxygen and so that pharmacy license was to dispense home oxygen however for many years since the 70s i have been a science geek i was taking tumors out of rats in the seventh grade i had excellent teachers throughout my life and very much hands-on um, experimental equipment that I brought in from the UK as well as Canada and a lot of biofield studies uh, using these uh, different modalities with the physiology and seeing positive results firsthand. So um, professionally, um, I was actually elected to a homeopathic board, NEMA, in 2008 for the 2009-10 year as secretary treasurer. However, due to circumstances, I didn't fulfill that position and ended up leaving the state abruptly. And okay, goes so on with a lot of background in I, physics, I where we go from place to place. Okay, I don't want to interrupt, but I have to interrupt and just say you're super brilliant. You do understand physics and engineering at a very very high level. Um, I sent you um, one of these units, um, where was it now, about two and a half weeks weeks ago, something like that, two and a half, maybe it's three? Been, I've been in use at least two weeks. Two um, weeks. When it arrived, I was in a stage of walking pneumonia, very painful, and knowing about the technology, knowing how waves create a field, I was very excited to use the device, and once I used it, I was overwhelmed with the amazement of how pain to about a 1.5, I think, is where I was at when I talked to you about two days later saying, wow. oh my goodness, this is incredible. The difference I have seen in um, the areas I've used it from my face to my neck and due to the car accident I was in almost a year ago. This is the first relief other than a red bed therapy I did last summer uh, for the pain relief and um, the inflammation decreased. The kidney issue with the puffiness under my eyes has been incredible. I have just a little bit of puffiness under the left eye. And that has been there for over a year. So the instantaneous results due to the field that this wand projects instantaneously removes toxins at the cellular level, restructures the hydrogen-oxygen bond due to the very range of frequency that's being used in the red and the blue spectrum, creating this violet that is the, the base or the negative DC that keeps every cell in this dielectric system maintaining equilibrium. So it literally is recreating a perfect field for cells to replicate, literally like the hand of God. Yeah. And I'm saying that not as well, someone that would take his name in vain, but literally a, a, a a basis of creation that is uh, created by the field with the heat and the frequency being projected. Okay, that's perfect. And you know, the thing I like about this, and not to not to minimize the, the situation that you were in, because obviously that was very severe, but it's good that in addition to just looking at it as a, as a device just to say, what does it do? you actually used it on yourself and got incredibly good results from the pain and um, a lot of different 
you know issues that your body was dealing with and and all done you know really in a relatively short time to say that the pain level went from a it's 10 instantaneous if you're in pain and you've been on pain meds and you've had injury you will know instantaneously that this field it's creating works okay and, and so no one has to convince you there's no placebo effect that is not the case here this would work if you were in a coma it would still do the same thing whether you had the ability to think or have that uh, uh, analogy that you felt something different right so um joy do you should i can i turn it on real quick and just run it for just a second show them the basic thing and then we'll get back into a little more description please okay it's incredible i wish i was running mine at the same time okay so <laughs> so basic really incredible for the pain i have been um it's incredible. I'm super excited about that. So basically you have the off switch, you have um, on, which is a high blower rate, but the heat is low. The second one, the blower rate is, is lighter and the heat is not on. And then you have the max one, which basically has the... Um, the, the maximum blower and the heat both and we're gonna we're gonna get in to talk about that but I, I want to try to keep this as short as possible because you know like with anything people ask what does it do how does it work and will it help with this or that and we can get into specific stuff what it'll do but let me just run it real quick so I'm gonna put it on max you're gonna actually see a light hit and then I'll go light I am, yeah, I am putting it on the wall. And then I'll go max. And that's with the heat. And it's throwing off the um, energy pattern there as well. So, um, and so, um, you know that's just giving the idea so let's let's shut this thing down now let's break it down the light itself is the light frequency that penetrates the body is that correct at least for it when you have it on the high setting from what i recall that specific unit from the little bit of research i've done i it's just i haven't been able to do enough however it penetrates up to 40 centimeters into the tissue which is quite deep right and i have actually a good uh, friend of mine that i've used it on um some horrific ulcers uh, that uh, came from a condition and he's in the process of some hyperbaric as well but the the transmutation of the tissue and just the two um, times he was able to take treatments when he's home on the weekends he's seen a great change as well and what we noticed with his hyperbaric it's reducing the size of the wounds considerably however the wand is creating creating a, a, a field where the toxins were released from that cellular structure as well. So uh, releasing um, that out of the, uh, I would say, um, a huge ulcer into a very small wound. And now he's gone through some tremendous wound care. And I just see tremendous value in this um, along with other specific treatment plans in okay. specific conditions because of the cellular structure it's able to recreate immediately okay that's awesome so so the blue light I guess just to recap that um, it does penetrate so if a person has their clothes on or something obviously if you I guess if you didn't right. have it and that's wonderful about doing this treatment again on that ulcer because of course it's bandaged and it works through the bandaging it works through the tissue directly to the source of the either inflammation or uh, tissue that isn't uh, performing properly and it will reorganize those cells to use the waste product to actually recreate the cell and it's basically through um, the colloids of life that are grown from the red blood cells into the extracellular fluid that's amazing it has to do with the spin and this wand creates the proper field so all the spin of the blood cells is to the right which is healthy 
because blood has a perfect pH and it keeps these pleomorphic uh, development of these bad elements at bay. That's that's amazing. So, um, okay, so so you've got the light, right? We've kind of just, I know we're skipping over this, but I'll, in an effort to keep the video short, and we'll go into more detail on other videos, but what is the blower doing? What is the heat in the blower doing? Do you, do you have kind of a opinion on what well, that? What we've seen um, when this is going on, um, uh, if we view the blood through a dark, dark field microscope, the blood has a life that can be seen as colloids, these life forms that assemble from this extracellular fluid. So these colloids of life grow from the red blood cells into the extracellular fluid. It basically, those suffering from um, the electromagnetics that we are um, exposed to that we find that um, what it does is these colloidal minerals especially the first 33 in our elementary cable they create a biological transmutation and they emit a wavelength specifically at 2 to 25 micrometers and that's that infrared spectrum that that terahertz wand creates so the, my, the magnetic and dielectric uh, changes in the density and temperature are the fundamental particle that light polarization or the light becomes hard matter. Light becomes chemicals in matter that fundamentally are high energy light is electrochromodynamics, which is epigenetics. It affects the chromosomes at the DNA level and it makes them perfect. What is your overall assessment of this technology and its value? Well, I'm going to say it's greater than penicillin ever thought of being because it's part of the field that was created by the code that our creator used to create 